Alright. We have to go back to downtown and talk to the prince. So a lot of this episode is going to be me just walking. Um, I mean, if I knew how to edit, I would cut it out. But I'm not going to, because I don't. Well, I guess now's a good time, you know. How are you guys doing? It's been a while, you know. We're kind of turning life over back on the channel. And if you're still here, that means you really haven't been doing that much. But um, it's nice to, it's nice for you to stick around and hang out with me occasionally. Um, yeah, I definitely appreciate it. Uh, you guys know who you are. I mean, I don't get tons of views, so I can sort of pinpoint. And yeah, I really appreciate it. All right. I'm lost. Where? Oh, yeah. We've got to go to this side to where the the um, cab driver is over here. Are you going to pee right now? Jesus, he's peeing. Oh, my God. People are scum. Hey, man, what's up? Hop in. All right, let's go. Downtown. I don't like those quotes. The prince is enforcer who hauls vampire defenders to the muscle. Oh, what's up? Hey, dude, that's my, that's the girl I saved. That's my ghoul. I am in so much trouble. Oh man, save. Well, she survived, but I am, that's not great though. Hey, what's up? Uh, hey, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Uh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not wearing you out or anything, am I? Um... No. Uh, that's pretty hard to do this night. You look pretty... You look good. Only because of you. What you did for me. Vampire Here, blood is I, weird. I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. It can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Yeah, I kind of messed this girl up. I feel bad. Um. <sighs> I'd love for you to stay with me. That's creepy and weird, but I did sort of make this mess. I should probably clean up after it. If you want to feel like that, you're going to have to earn it. Oh, dude, I could be such a scumbag. I really want to see. All right. If you feel that way, you have to earn it. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise. I'll get you money. I'll get you things. Everything. This is I the worst analogy for a relationship ever. Important to you. All right. Then, um... Uh, wait for me at my place, and don't, I can't have you following me around, it's dangerous. Uh, I know where you live. I checked there first. I'll wait for you at your place, and when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. So gross. I'll do anything for you. So gross. Um, alright, let's just be nice to her now. Um, my dear Heather, whatever would I do without you? Get out of here. The, wow! Oh! Whoa. Okay, um, yep, yeah, goodbye, Heather. I've got to go talk to the prince now, and, um, this is, yeah, this is right, right, yeah, the big creepy statues. Um, so that is not great. I don't think I ever did that before. I don't think I saved her. I think I just stayed away from it. That's a major masquerade violation. Oh, uh, what's up, Chunk? Or Hunk, or whatever this one is? Demon Chief, you... Yep, that's right. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. What? People here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little... different, though. You wonder if he's... Ah, that's his business. How's it going, Chunk? Ah, you know, I'm keeping the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hard-working decent folks. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. Sure he appreciates having you here to protect him. I'm just going to walk through the metal detector without setting it off, despite having a million, billion, million, billion guns. Uh, penthouse. I've said all I need to for now. If 
Vampires walk weird. What's up? I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? Let all with the handprints so and indicate it was opened from within. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. <laughs> malingering mollycoddles? Yeah, who were they? Those were the primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin, which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. Each minor problem like a grain of sand, each night I inherit the desert. This Sabbat's appearance has put the primogen on the edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. Hmm. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. Alright. I want... I want ghoul. Oh, this is ghoul. Cool. Every problem that's brought to me has to be dealt with. It's the seemingly insignificant, time-consuming trivialities that plague my night. Which is why, when I assign you a simple task, I only want to hear unbridled vehemence on your part. Understood? What's in it for me? My thanks. And that goes a long way in this city. All right. Sure, fine. Yes. About Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. Exciting. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. All right, I'll go right away. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. Oh, and to show my appreciation for your dedicated service to me, I have secured you a haven nearby, in the Skyline Apartment Building. I hope it's to your liking. Don't say that. Okay, whatever. I had no choice. Um, I didn't want to tell the prince that I have a ghoul. I mean, he probably already knows because she was asking around about me. But I would really prefer that... Ugh. Great. Just great. Hey, I wonder... The Skyline Apartments? I went through there and took all the stuff. I wonder who I'm neighbors with. Um, let's take a look around. So Skyline Apartments is... Skyline Apartments 2. I'm there. Okay, so if I go the wrong way forever, I go this way. This way. You know, I really wonder sometimes about the city, is like how these cars got here if everything is all closed up. And how, um, like where they go. Kind of a weird city, because it's like all street parking all the time. But like you just park on the actual road, there's nothing else going on. Some gun violence going on in the background there. So there's a nocturne shooter. Yeah, here we go. Alright, Skyline Apartments. Oh, Skyline Apartments, the place where I got attacked by the police <laughs> multiple times. But I live here now, so it should be different, right? Right? It's not the same. Please don't tell me I'm going to get attacked every time I go to my, my haven. Well, this sure is different. Um, where's my haven? He didn't tell me where it is. What's up, dude? Here we go. Uh, four, I'm gonna guess. Yeah. Alright, four. Four. This Heather situation is slightly worrisome. Um, a bit more worrisome than a missing Malkavian. I mean, they go missing all the goddamn time. Uh, but this whole ghoul thing is new to me and slightly exciting. Hey, Heather. I'm so glad you're back. 
I've been waiting here just like you asked. Your place is, um, nice. Um, I didn't decorate it. Is there something I can do for you? Anything. Just ask. Um, you should know before we go on. Oh. Are you married? Is that why you don't want me around? No. Um. I'm a vampire and you're bound to me. What? Uh, you're joking, right? That's like slang for something like catcher or some fetish term, right? Not like a blah, blah, vampire, right? Um. I'm afraid not. No. No, there's no. Duh. Oh my god. Listen. Um. Don't worry, my sweet pet. I will protect you. You will. I do love you so much. Oh Whatever my god. Are. I don't care. Ugh. I just want to be with you. Okay. Okay. Dear Heather. Only you, dear Heather. No, that's not true. Alright, um. I'll do something to show me you care. What can I do to show my appreciation? Uh. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Me? I'm not so special, you know. I go to college. I'm majoring in fashion design. I think I'm pretty creative. I just started school a year late because my... My parents died. Um, car crash. I That's didn't really have terrifying. Special in my life until you came along. Uh, oh, I... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'm always here for you, dearest Heather. Um, about your appearance? Change it? Oh, no! Okay, we're doing it. Okay. Um, I hope I'm in for a pleasant surprise. I like it dark and gothic. Oh, dude, we're doing it. Bye. Uh... Dude, if I could t take those shotgun shells. I could actually stow some of my junk in this house. But, um, what is that? A cult power up? Whoa! Everything is a hunt dur more duration. There's some blood packs. There's. Heather looking in the mirror. I am this. I have ruined this poor girl's life. I try. I saved it, but then I like immediately ruined it. Hooker magazine. Oh my god. I am a class act. Um, sweet high five. Here you go. Miss me? Judging by the way the board. Um, fancy computer. Hacked my own email. Sunrise, a favor. Boop. Attention, the sample hands of the local tabloid. Sent it to the clinic in Santa Monica for testing. Oh no, not the clinic. Party has been dealt with. For obvious reasons, we can't have anyone testing that blood. Please retrieve the blood sample from the clinic. Leave it in your mailbox. You will be compensated accordingly. Okay. Mercurius, stop by my apartment when you get a chance. I'll set you up. All right, cool. Thanks, Mercurius. Don't touch the butter. Extreme sports sweeping the nation. <sighs> Delete. Uh, quit. Quit. All right, so that's a weird, fancy-looking computer. Um, my bedroom that I don't use for anything. The vents that I have literally crawled around in, hiding from the police. Upstairs bathroom. All right. Um, I think we're going to go and take care of that uh, little blood sample thing. It'll be good to go up against Officer Obi again in one-on-one -on -one combat. And then I can see, uh, come back and see what Heather came up with for a new outfit. God, I feel dirty. This game is weird. Um, man, when I was an edgy teenager, I must have loved this game. In fact, that's probably why I love Vampire the Masquerade in general. I could sit there and be like, yeah, girls have to do what I want. <laughs> no, I'm not that bad. I never was that bad. But it is kind of a weird power trip thing. 
that I'm not entirely comfortable with. But tonight on Vampire the Masquerade, breaking into the blood bank again, again. Like the other half dozen times. All right, let's go this way. Oh, I should look at my sheet. 14 experience, that's enough to sort of make me hotter and whatnot. Um, subterfuge is seduction. And what was the other one? The manipulation, haggle, seduction, charisma, persuasion. So where's persuasion? What? The, oh, okay. So persuasion is what? Charisma attribute and the scholarship ability. Okay. We'll deal with that in a minute. I might need to be more seductive because I'm running out of options for blood and, um... Yeah. I don't... And I don't want to, I guess, I don't want to walk all the way home to Heather every time. God, that sounds such a douchebag. Hey, Knife, what's up? Alright, let's go. Going some way. Yeah, don't... I can go to Grout's Mansion. I don't want to do that. Uh, Santa Monica. Hopefully, if I don't have to go to the third floor of the hospital, I won't have to run into Officer Obi and fight for my very life. But I am going to definitely have to sneak into the basement. So we'll have to see how that goes. All right. Let's just do a quick save. In fact, you know what? Um, I'm going to end the episode here because it looks like it's just about long enough, and this could take forever. I mean, last time I went in here, I was down here for a really long time. So, how about this? I promise I'll give you two quests next time if this quest goes quickly. Otherwise, it'll be easy. All right, I will see you later, guys. Bye.